Okay, you know how this story starts. In the beginning, there wasn't shit. Literally, nothing but void and darkness. And that's how the darkness liked it. It wasn't until God decreed, turn on the lights, that things got nasty. It started out small. A, a, a planet here, a, a sun there, you, you, you know, next thing you know, there were humans and cows and, 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 and stuff running all over the place. Needless to say, the darkness was pissed. From then till now, the darkness tore its way through the world, inhabiting one human host after another, each thinking that they were its master. But you can't own the darkness. The darkness owns you. Fast forward to one Jackie Estacado. You know his type. No family, no hope, no future. He ended up about what you'd expect, busting heads for the French Hetty crime family. Life as a whole was pretty dark for Jackie. Then came his 21st birthday, and, and things got a whole lot darker. And then you, you, you might think that inheriting superpowers would, would be pretty cool for Jackie, you, you know, being in the business of killing people and all. But, and if not for the demon living inside of him, you'd be right. See, the darkness it didn't just make Jackie stronger, it, it, it made him a god. But only when the lights were out. Next thing you know, the mob turns on Jackie, marks him for death, just like that. It was the New York City mob versus Jackie and the darkness. But as dark as things were for Jackie, there was a light in his life. And, and, and her name was Jenny. Now, now, now these kids, they, they went way back. I don't think anybody would disagree that they were meant for each other. If anything, that's the real tragedy in all this. See, the mob was still after Jackie. Now, they thought the quickest way to get him would be to take away, you know, his, his only reason for living. Killing Jenny was just about the dumbest thing the mob could have done. See, because without her, Jackie not only had nothing left to live for, he had nothing left to lose. As for the darkness, Jackie's kept it locked away for years, you know, but it doesn't matter how hard he tries. No one can hold back the night. If he can't control this thing inside him, pretty soon there won't be anything left. Jackie will be nothing but an empty shell. And that's just how the darkness likes it. Right around the time he died, my father said to me, he said, Jackie, you can't outrun your fate, but you sure as hell gotta try. I didn't really know what he meant back then. See, there was something inside me, something terrible. Waiting to get out. And when it did, it made me watch the only thing I ever cared about. Get her brains blown out right in front of me. Then it gave me the power to make things right. The kind of stuff you only see in your worst nightmares. The killing only made it stronger. Harder to control. Eventually, I found a way to bury it. But ever since, it's been trying to get back out. It calls itself the darkness. Jackie, it's good to see you. Come on in. Hiya, Vinny. How's the family? Which one? Hey, Jackie, check out the rack on the brunette to your
Jackie, you stay with me now. Oh, shit, look at his leg. Betty, what do we do? You guys take point. I'm gonna pull Jackie out back. Jackie, listen to me. I'm gonna pull you out back, but you gotta take this. Keep these guys off our ass. Vinny! I'm gonna slaughter these pigs! Oh, I'm with me! Oh. Jackie! Come to the dark! Hold on a sec. Oh, gotta catch my breath. Oh, you gotta give me a second, Jackie. I ain't been to the gym in weeks. Ah, Jesus Christ! Get him off our backs! Listen to me. I can see the kitchen from here. We can make a break for it, but you gotta take both pieces so I can lift you up. All right. Fuck. Let's go. Fight her out. Guess. Hurry up, Vinny! They're in there! That does. Quick, give me a lighter. Burn in hell, Estacado! <laughs> Use my power or die! Never. Never again, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Salvation. <laughs> <coughs> mm. Stronger than his father. Keep pushing him. Still breathing, huh, motherfucker? Come on, come over here. I got something for you. Embrace the diabolous Jackie. <laughs> Is that you? Yeah, you, you, you got your thing back, huh? Yeah, just in... What the fuck just happened, Vinny? Who hit us? I don't know, boss. I don't know. After the explosion, I saw some guy with a limp. He had some weird-looking fucks with him. I, nobody I recognized, though. Where'd that piece of shit go? Oh, they headed down the alley. The rest of our crew's out front, so you can meet up with them on the street. I'll be right there. I just... just need to get my wind back. Give him hell, Jackie. The rest of the guys are out on the street, boss. Head down the alley and meet up with them. Yeah, something happened. I don't know, a big explosion. They probably heard it in Kansas. The hell my mother right died a good man! Ah! Estacado, you piece of shit! He's still- 
still alive! You motherfuckers are gonna pay! I got a staccato. He's over here. You're not so tough now, are you? Hello, monkey. It's been too long. Give us a hug. I'll pass, but thanks for the help. What's that smell? You tell me. I came from your noggin. Could you forget that already? Come on then, let's move! Then it gets all jumbled and weird, and people think you're nuts! Come find me, Jackie. Hello. Tony, Tony, what happened? Did you find the guys who hit us at the restaurant? Sometimes I can't tell the difference between a fruit and a vegetable. Jesus Christ, what is this place? I gotta get out of here. I like grapes. I don't like beans. I like strawberries, though. You got any fruit? You are the bringer of death. What the fuck was that? Jackie, over here! Jesus Christ, Jackie, we thought you was dead. What happened back there? I, uh... I handle things, like I always do. What the hell's going on, Tony? Hell if I know, boss. Look, we gotta get out of here. You go in your limo, and I'll go ride in the car with Vinny. He busted up a couple of ribs, but he's gonna be fine. The first time you use the darkness? It scares you. But once you've tasted it... You can't stop. That's all you think about. Like I said, it consumes you. Every second of every day for the last two fucking years, I kept myself in check. Gritted my teeth and kept it buried. Oh, now it's back. And I can feel what it's doing to me. So, uh, I guess setting you up with the twins didn't go so good, huh? Yeah, no shit. I'm glad you're all right, Vin. Now, can you tell me what the fuck just happened? 
I don't know. I saw some weird looking guy had a limp. It was crazy. Like one minute he's there, the next minute the guy just fucking disappears. I don't know. I must have hit my head or something. Look, anyways, Jimmy says he's got a lead on the crew that hit us. Good. I find Jimmy. Tell him to meet me in my office. I'm gonna head upstairs. Yeah, sure. Whatever you need, Jackie. again today. In the alley. Down on the tracks. I still see you. Everywhere I go. You torture yourself with her memory, Jackie. Jenny would never have wanted this. It scares me that you're so much like your father, Carlo. He could never let things go. Aunt Sarah, I'm fine. How many times I gotta tell you? You're a terrible liar, Jackie. Sometimes, sometimes I, I think I see her. And it's like, it's like she's not gone. But she is gone, Jackie. You buried Jenny years ago. I know, I know. Listen, Aunt Sarah, thanks for looking out for me, but I'm okay, all right? Just got a lot on my mind right now is all. Fine. You ever get the balls to actually talk about all this? Come see me in my room. Quit busting my balls, all right? Thank Christ he got it back, you know? What do you mean? You heard the expression, mess with the bull and you get the horns? <laughs> well, mess with Jackie, and you get those two things of his. I'll take those things over horns any day. I mean, how do you think he took over the whole family so fast in the first place? That fucking thing of his, that's how. Hey, Butch. Leo. Hey, boss. We was just talking about you. Glad you got your, uh, mojo back. Let's send a message to these fucks that think they can hit us. Hey, you got that right. We're ready whenever you need us, boss. Hey, you ask me. Hey, boss. So what's what? I want you to go find somebody for me. Johnny Powell. Lives down by the Queensboro Bridge. You find him and bring him back here. Johnny Powell? Ain't that the guy that used to help you out with that thing of yours? He was a weird fuck. Whatever happened to that guy anyway? It don't matter. I need him back. Go bring him by for a visit. And hey, you don't have to be nice to him. Whatever you say, boss. I'll have the new guys go get him. Oh, hey, uh, Jimmy's waiting for you in your office. He's got a lead on the guys who hit us tonight. Thanks, Finney. Anytime, boss. Let me know if you need anything else. How's things, Jackie? Jackie! Good to see you in one piece, kid. Vinny says you got information for me. This thing at the restaurant. I just heard from Emilio Capizzi. A couple of hours later, someone torched our warehouse down at the docks, and Freddy tells me two of our boys got clipped outside of Gino's deli tonight. Somebody's making a play. Whoever did this to us is dead. You hear me, Jimmy? There's the Jackie Estacado I know. Vinny told me you got that thing of yours back tonight. It's about fucking time. All right, all right. Just tell me what you know already. A waiter recognized one of the guys who came into the restaurant tonight. Some guy named Swifty. Oh, Swifty. Yeah, I know that prick. He left as soon as I got there. Yeah, I never actually met him before. 
But I'm definitely looking forward to meeting them now. I had Vinny get some of the boys together. Let us know when you're ready to go and kick some righteous ass. Jackie, give me a shot when you're ready to go. Hey, Jackie. What say we go pay this asshole Swifty a visit? Let's go crack some skulls. Out of board, boss. Let's head down. Well, here we go. Time to go to work. Wanna know something funny? When I was a kid, the dark used to scare the shit right out of me. I always felt like there was something out there. In the shadows. Just waiting. And Sarah always said I was a smart kid. She tried to tell me, Jackie, either you control your fears, or they'll control you. And I tried to control them, believe me. I tried. But every night, there I was. Hiding under the sheets, trying to convince myself that whatever was out there wasn't real. Thank God I outgrew that shit, huh? Hey, Jackie's here. Yo, Jackie. You want hey, to Jack. Here? You Dad ready to do I'm your thing? To lift anything heavy. Just point me in the right direction, Jimmy. Swifty was at the restaurant just before it all went down. He runs an executive poker game in a pool hall up around his corner. Follow me. This is Swifty's neighborhood, Jackie. We don't got a lot of friends around here. And those guys in there with Swifty? They ain't exactly the friendly types either. Good. Cause I ain't exactly in a friendly mood. Tell Vinny and the boys to seal off the exits. Nobody leaves here alive until I get some answers. That a boy, Jackie. Jackie, here he is. Oh, hey, hiya, Jackie. Those are some nice shoes. Are those Balooties? Kiss ass. Alright, you lousy prick. Stop talking and show me what you can do. Swifty. You're not smart enough for a hit like this. Fuck you. You were weak and I made a play. Now I'm gonna finish the job. Let's see how you deal with this one, shithead. We're gonna need more than bullets to knock out that thing. No worries, Jackie. I'll find something for you. Hurry the fuck up! Hi, monkey. Have a ball, you fucking pig! <laughs> Hi, monkey! I found some propane tanks! Monkey! Chuck Here comes two tons of fuck you! Ow! Fucking douchebag! Thank <laughs> you. 
you so long. Jenny? Were you expecting some other girlfriend? Come sit with me for a minute. I'd give you a free beer, but you're not even legal until tomorrow. I must be losing my fucking mind. I asked Giancarlo if I could take your birthday off. He tried to give me a hard time, but I gave him the Bambi eyes, and he caved. He says he's even going to bake you a cake. I was thinking maybe you could come over to my new place and we could watch a movie or something. Hello? Earth to Jackie? Are you okay? Jenny, is this real? Yeah, you and me, young and in love. Face it, you lucked out. Jenny? Damn it. It deceives you. Leave me alone! You are alone, Jackie. Fuck. Why do I keep seeing Jenny? Leads me, monkey! Swifty, I got all fucking night. Esther Carter, you piece of shit. This is some serious people paid us to come after you, Jackie. Let's go back to Wall Street. You're just a low life punk, Swifty. Who the fuck put you up to this? You, you think I wanted to mess with you? Come on, I, I had no choice. You stubborn prick. Are you even listening to what I'm saying? Jackie, listen to me. I had no choice. They said they were gonna take us apart unless we came after you. They got a real hard on for you. Jesus Christ, Jackie! They knew everything about us! They, they could have ripped us to pieces! 
Jesus. They gave me something I read about them. That the crazy look in their eyes, you know? Like, like some kind of whacked out monks. Start talking. I think I think they're like some kind of secret club or something, you know? They gave they gave me an envelope with a whole load of cash in it. Their boss, their, their leader, whatever. I, I I met him in a brothel, the the Brimstone Club. All right? Look, I'm telling you, th these guys are some kind of. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Stop it, you miserable fucking rat! What the fuck did you do? I needed him. I needed answers. That was nothing. Eddie and Frank are checking out the Brimstone right now. And the new guys found your buddy, Johnny Powell. Yeah, he didn't take to your invitation, so... Put him in the back room so he could shit his pants for a while. Follow me. Can't wait to see him again. Ask me, this guy's a couple clowns short of a circus, Jackie. He wasn't living by the Queensboro Bridge, he was living under it, in a cardboard box. All right, come on. He's back here. Hey, Chief, how's the wife and kids? Hmm. He's in a good mood. There you go. Knock yourself out. So let's say you live in a big house and you own some books. I mean, some other fuck nuts might live at the North Pole and they own a lawnmower. But that don't mean nothing. I can keep a secret. I can keep a secret. Just let me go and I won't... Johnny Powell. You look like shit. You were supposed to be the expert. I paid you good money to help me figure things out, and you repaid me by skipping out in the middle of the night? For what? Jackie, I did what I could to help you control the darkness. But being around you was becoming a problem for me. The darkness is so fucking seductive. I could hear it whispering to me whenever I was around you. It was starting to change me. Are you gonna kill me? Is that what this is all about? I let it out, Johnny. Now I don't know if I can control it. Let the darkness back out? Jesus Christ, Jackie! That thing is like a slow suicide! Then help me get it back under control. You don't control the darkness, Jackie. You cower in fucking fear of it, and you pray it goes away. The longer the darkness is active, the more it'll try to confuse you. <laughs> it'll try to trap you, make you see stuff that, that, that other people can't see. I need your help, so you're back on the payroll until I say you can go. Bunch of assholes just came after my entire operation. And whoever gave them this envelope is connected to the darkness somehow. I need you to figure out who they are, and what they know about it. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I'll do what I can. It's... It'll go a lot faster if you get one of your gorillas to untie me. Please? It lives in Viscera. And you are the focus. It wants chaos!
You can untie him now, Chief. But keep an eye on him for me, would you? Hmm. Ah, oh, that guy really let himself go. I used to think he was pretty smart. Now he looks like something the cat threw up. Hey, hey, Frank and Eddie are back from the club. They're waiting for you with Jimmy in your office. All right. Thanks, Vin. Don't you listen to that voice in your head, Jackie. You fear the darkness like it was the devil himself. Everything it says is a lie. How you holding up, Jackie? I'm all right, Aunt Sarah. How you doing? I have arthritis and two bum knees. Every day is a gift. How do you think I'm doing? You're something else, you know that? And you look like shit, you know that? I'm gonna make you some of that meatloaf you love so much. I'll have it for you in a couple of hours. Nice home-cooked meal is what you need. You're the best. Bet your ass I am. Jackie, you're gonna wanna hear this. That Swifty prick was right. The assholes who hit us are hiding out at the Brimstone. What did you geniuses find out? It was Eddie who heard it. I was otherwise engaged at the time. He was busy snorting coke off a of hooker's ass. Never could multitask. Well, these two chuckleheads are getting their dick spit polished. One of the whores starts running their mouth about the new owners. I had this girl, Camille. She says the place got bought up last month. The new guys took over the top floor. Yeah, but that ain't the best part. Camille says she's seen some weird guy with a limp go in and out of the place. Says he looks like Nosferatu on crack. Who the fuck is Nosferatu? Your grandmother. No idea if this wank job and his crew are still there. But it might be worth checking out. All right, enough talking. I'm headed down there. Whatever you say, Jackie. I think Vinny has a friend who works there. Might want to ask him about her. Hey, Jackie, you fuck up that pool all good over. Hey, Jackie. So, uh, Jimmy told me about the Brimstone Club. Sounds like a real dumpster. You, uh, got a hookup over there? Well, uh, you mean, uh, me? Well, I, I mean, I'd never go to a cesspool like that, but I, I got a friend who goes there sometimes, who, you know, when it's late at night, when other places are closed. I know a girl there named Venus. Sure she can help you out. She's a real handful. Two of them, actually. The new owners are real pissy about the door. They don't let nobody bring a gun in. That's fine, though, because you probably want to learn as much as you can before you, you know, do your thing and scare the living shit out of them. Damn right. Okay, then. You ready to get some fucking answers? Take me to this shithole, Vinny. I thought you'd never ask. Let's go. Jackie, Jackie, wait! What? What's the matter? Uh, 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 this envelope. Uh, uh, where did you say you got it again? Off some dead guy that was paid to kill me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Something wrong, Johnny? Uh, nothing. Um, uh, couldn't be them. Because that'd be really bad. Hey, um, I, 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 I gotta do some more research. Uh, good luck in your killing spree. Me and the boys will take him to the zoo while you're gone. Retards like the zoo. Let's go, Vinny. That a boy, Jackie. What do you say we go tweak some nipples and see what happens, huh? <laughs> I remember this one time, when it was summer, hot as balls. Jenny and me were on the stoop, with a couple of cones there, trying to cool off. And here comes this fucking kid. You know the type. Asshole all the way. He shoves me over, and takes a seat between the two of us. Jenny, takes one look at him, dumped her cone right in his lap. <laughs> That's when he pushed her. So I did what I had to do. I curbed the little fuck. Figured a few months eating through a straw would teach him how to talk to a lady. Jenny? Didn't talk to me for a week. I think so, Chief. I'm sure you'd remember. I gotta frisk you, tough guy.
Yes, that's good. Arms to your sides. This is a friendly joint. No trouble. You packing tonight, Hotshot? Who, me? And spoil the party? Yes, he's clean. Add inside. Have a nice evening. Right through this door, pal. I can make all your dreams come true. Listen to me. There's no cameras in these elevators, but we ain't got much time. I stash Vinny's gun in my room. If these new guys find it, they'll kill me. They don't play games, Jackie. These are some messed up fucking people. They all tweaked out and shit. Just promise if anything goes wrong, you won't rat me out. So you gotta get up to the third floor quickly. Are you listening to me? Uh, yeah, yeah. I got it. Come on, it's this way. Got something for you. They closed off the top two floors. We figured they was just shooting pornos up there. But then, Chantal went to go see that hunchback guy on the third floor. Now we ain't seen her in a month. Here. This is from Vinny. Nice. Now you go find these assholes and make sure you give them one for me. Shoot Quasimodo upside the head and put us all out of his fucking misery. I should have bet the fucking old man. What the fuck is wrong with me? They said no makeup, you stupid I should have bet. I want another chance. Like a fucking clown on crap. Sweet Mary Bobby <laughs> Help! Can you get up to that vent? Right! I'm gonna need your help here! Close your peepers, Tick! Wait. What did you do? Oh, neat little trick, innit? Now you see what I see, don't you? How's the view? Short. Let's get moving. Do you hear that sound, brothers? It's the cry of the beast, drawing ever closer. The darkness closes. The relic will hold it. Once we have it, the world will be ours. What's he going to have the one who opened this door? And I'll ask yes, you myself. It was. <laughs> Sin produces dark essence. Dark essence gives us power and sin. Is rough Yeah, pretty sure that's bad. Yeah. Something's not right here.
pleasure. Is that close enough for you? Prepare the siphon. He's coming too. What the hell are you doing? He's awake. Good. Keep him focused. He feels sticky. Go about your duties. When the transfer is complete, then we'll have what we came for. I want you to believe me. I wish this could have been any other way, Jackie. But we all have tough choices to make, and this is yours. So you're the fucker who tried to hit us at the restaurant, huh? Don't talk, and don't think. Just listen. You've been keeping something that was once lost. Something that doesn't belong to you. Now you have to choose to give it back. What happens to you is of secondary concern. I only care about one thing. I want the darkness! I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you don't. But the fact is, you're careless. And far too many criminals in this city believe you have a demon living inside you. The restaurant was a test to be certain you were the new darkness host. Now you've passed that test, we want it back. Hmm. I feel you shifting in there. Are you getting nervous? You're too stupid to give the darkness the fear and respect it deserves, Jackie. It prefers the company of a moron it can control, and it loathes the sight of an intelligent man who can control it. Now I'll ask just once. Will you give me the darkness of your own free will? Why don't you try and take it if you're such a fucking genius? If you read anything but comic books and menus, you'd know there are rules. The host may only give up the darkness by choice. I'm afraid I have to help you make that choice. Mr. Peevish, if you'd be so kind. Watch this, pretty boy. It's your own personal snuff movie. The darkness made you watch your girlfriend's murder. Your first meaningful act as its host was one of submission. Face it, Jackie. You can't control the darkness, and you never could. Best to give it back to the people who can. Hmm. That stream of dark essence flowing into the siphon tells me you're already thinking of giving it up. Let's see if I can grease the wheels of that decision. Mr. Bragg. So, this was your girlfriend, huh, Jackie boy? I guess scores with lip rings give good head. What's the matter? Couldn't fuck her face when her head was blown off? Jackie! Oh, Jackie, the whole damn place is overrun! Don't give it in, Jackie. They don't got the whole place yet. Shut up! You're under attack all across the city. We have the means and the intent to bring your organization to its knees, and within minutes, we'll control your home. So think fast, Jackie. This isn't just about you anymore. Make a choice, left or right. Jackie, no! You can't do this! 
this to me? You son of a bitch! Whoa, that one got wet. You did what you had to do, Jackie. You show these bastards who they just fuck with. Shut your ugly mouth, you fucking corpse. You made a bad decision to let the genie back out of the bottle, Jackie. To the darkness, you're just a puppet made of skin and gristle. Last chance. Will you give me the darkness of your own free will? Fuck you! Then not of your own free will. I'm trying to help you, but if you're too stupid to see it, I'll negotiate in a language even you can understand. Mr. Bragg! Kill everyone in the mansion. Find the old lady and tear off both of her arms. Hey, how about I tear off a useless old tits? What do you think of that, Jackie boy? You lost Jenny because you couldn't control the darkness. And now you're going to lose everything you cherish because you don't have the sense to accept your limitations. Break his will. He will beg us to take it from him. Resist! Jenny's dead, idiot. Focus! Give me the darkness, or your dear old Aunt Sarah is worm food. I can't! <laughs> you leave me no choice but to use the siphon, <laughs> Mr. Peevish. The binding rituals are nearly prepared. Won't be long now. Good. Keep working him over. I want him as weak as possible when the ritual begins. Resist! <laughs> say you weren't given a choice. You bought this on yourself, and you've bought it on your family. I was only trying to help you. You won't die, Jackie. The darkness won't let you, but by the time you get out, your Aunt Sarah will be gutted and boned, and you'll have gained nothing. Think about just how powerless you are, because next time, I won't ask so nicely. Watch the entire building! Satan! For Jenny! Shut up. 
Everybody, come on! There was this priest that used to come around the orphanage, Father Alonzo. Yeah, 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 I know what you're thinking, and it ain't that kind of story. Anyway, must have been about a thousand years old or something, real fire and brimstone type of guy. Used to tell us kids that hell wasn't some bullshit story they made up to keep us in line. It was fucking real. A fucked up place, where all the deadbeats, hookers, dealers, and junkies all ended up. And if we weren't careful, that's exactly where we were gonna go. Fuck. If only it were that easy. Yes! Rip them to pieces! Am I glad to see you? These guys came in like a bunch of fucking cockroaches. They're out of their minds. And you're not? I'm still alive, ain't I? More than can be said for these limp dick fucks when I'm done with them. You better head upstairs, boss. I got you covered down here. I ain't bleeding that bad. The elevator's coming down. Don't let anyone out of here, Jackie. Jackie, it's me, Vinny. Don't shoot. Jesus Christ, boss. It's a real shit show up there. Your Aunt Sarah's hiding out in your panic room. We gotta get up there. Right now! You guys get upstairs. I'll hold the fort down here. Hey, Jackie! Best day of the week so far! Jackie! Thank Christ you made it back here! What's well, some serious shit, man! Johnny, talk to me. What am I up against here? The seal on the envelope you found on Swifty? It belongs to the Brotherhood. The who? They were the original keepers of the darkness, Jackie. The Brotherhood is the holy fucking grail of secret societies. They're led by a guy named Victor, high priest, royalty to them. He's not a good person, understand? Yeah, I met that asshole. He came after me with some kind of thing. He was sucking the darkness out of me. There's only one thing that can do that. The Siphon of the Angelus! Jesus! I thought that thing was lost for good! Hoped it was lost for good! What the fuck is it? It's the device the Brotherhood used to cage the darkness. It's an instrument of light. It was made thousands of years ago. Some say it was forged by the Angelus itself. It's the only thing that can contain dark essence. Well, um, besides, besides you. It's powerful, Jackie, and dangerous. If they found it, that's bad. Really bad. If the Brotherhood gets a hold of the darkness, uh, 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 who knows? But I'm sure it's not good. All right, all right. I get the picture. Look, stay put. 
I'm gonna put these fucks out of their misery. Jackie! Holy Christ, am I glad to see you. We never saw these guys coming. They got into the damn kitchen! Boss! Who the fuck are these guys? They don't look like nobody I ever seen before. Jackie, we gotta get you up to your Aunt Sarah. And hey, watch yourself out there. You too, Vinny. You be careful. I think you're all gone. Come on. Let's do this. Victory! Sarah's upstairs in your bedroom. Locked in your panic room. They're trying to break through the door. We gotta move now. No. Jack, you gotta get to your Aunt Sarah. Jackie boy. Jackie, help me, please. Wake up. Come on, Jackie, wake up. Everything's okay. <clears throat> there you go. You're out of it now. You fell out of the bed. You had a rough night, Jackie. You've been skipping out on your meds again, bud. <sighs> Vinny? I don't understand what's happening. Is this... Is this hell? Okay, that's a new one. This is the darkness, isn't it? It's some kind of trick. Come on, Jackie, don't start talking about that stuff again, okay? The darkness isn't real. It's just in your mind. What? I'm sorry, but I know you get confused by all this. These bad dreams are a part of being sick. You gotta help us get you well again. I'll tell you what. You go by the dispensary before breakfast, and I'll tell the doc you had a good night. But they're rewriting us all! Even you! I'm not even supposed to be here! Just calm down, Mr. Walker. What the fuck is happening to me? Concerned he's regressed into a more complex cognitive disorder. His thoughts are becoming extremely disordered. Let's try it. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Don't be stressed out. Don't be stressed out. He had a problem with his white cell count. Wouldn't All right. So let me get this straight. He says he lives in a big mansion kind of place. Jackie, Doctor James is looking for you. He wants to talk to you. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. Just go see him in his office.
Dr. Jim Jimmy, is waiting, Jack. Jackie, come on in. I'd hoped I'd see you this morning. Please have a seat. Now I know this ain't real. <laughs> no fucking way you're a doctor. I've heard from your nurse that you're getting worried about your medication again. Do you understand why you take the medicine, Jackie? I'm not crazy. This is just an illusion. If you know it's an illusion, you could make it go away. But we've had this discussion before. You can't make it go away. Because it is not an illusion. Don't you see what's happening, Jimmy? The darkness is inside our heads! You mean the voice you hear, Jackie? The one that makes you do bad things? Does that seem reasonable to you? Look, I'm not gonna skirt around the issue any longer. Dr. Vic and I are concerned that you're making up new rules as you go along. Mafia fiction's fine for television, but not for real life. You're not the head of a crime family, Jackie. You're a patient in this institution, and we're trying to help you get well. There is something wrong with this place. You are not keeping okay, me here! Jackie, let's just stay chill. Dr. James is trying to help you. Ready? Shut the fuck up! Jackie, I know you're upset. But I'd like you to use your quiet voice now. I no longer wish to speak to your darkness voice. Fine. Let me out of here. I gotta take a walk. All right. Nobody's stopping you. Edward, take him to see Nurse Jenny. Come on, Jackie. Just try to stay calm, Jackie. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Doc. Let's go see Jenny, Jackie. Jackie, I'm so glad you're back on your med cycle. It's a very positive sign. Dr. Vic's been asking me about your progress. He's very concerned for you. We all are. Jenny, I don't know what this place is, but I'm gonna get us out of Why here. Why would I want to get out of here, Jackie? I work here. I'm here to help you. No. No, not you two. Not you two! What the fuck is happening?! Just stay calm, Jackie. It's going to be alright. Now... Last time we talked, you were telling me about the delusions you've been having. You said you were the head of a mob family, and that your house was... under attack by men trying to steal the darkness from that you? That wasn't a delusion. That just happened. I know it did. I know it feels real, Jackie, but it's... Jenny, you gotta listen to me. I think this might be hell, and we're trapped here. I'm gonna get us out! I can see why it seems like hell to you sometimes, but it's just a hospital. I want you to trust me. Everyone here is trying to help you. I don't know why this is happening, Jenny. You were dead! I saw you die! We talked about this, remember? When you don't take your medicine, you have a hard time separating fiction from reality. You get a lot of bad dreams when your serotonin's out of whack. It makes you think you're remembering things that never happened. But... my family, my, my friends... the darkness... Jackie, none of this is real. I'll work out a schedule with Dr. Vic. Play your cards right, and we can see a lot of each other, okay? Jackie, you okay? My schedule? What? Jenny, you don't understand. You're in real trouble. We both are. We're getting out of here! Now! Jackie, whoa, no! Whoa, big guy! Code white! <clears throat> Easy, Jackie. Let oh go of me! God. Come on! You were ah. doing All right, so here we go. Good. Easy, easy. Calm down, Jackie. We're not gonna hurt you. Keep him still. Geronimo! Johnny, cut it out! Go. Johnny, what Two. the hell are you doing? Sleep. Get him off, would you please? Run, Jackie! Get Powered back here, people. Jackie! Head for the bunker! Tell Eva I've been late! He must have some prunes.
He's running for the door! Jackie, get back here! Oi, this way. There's nothing out there for you! See, as long as the bloodline continues, the darkness will always have a new host. Found that out my fifth birthday. Woke up in the middle of the night with my dad, just sitting on my bed, hovering over me. Butcher knife in his hand. <laughs> Still not really sure if the crazy fuck was thinking of putting me out of my misery, or making sure no one else would take his place. Make it stop, Jackie. Jackie, Jesus. I can't believe it, you're back. You said the darkness won't let you die, but I, I never believed you. It took it four days to repair you after you got shot in the face. Oh, I'm losing my fucking mind. Look, Jackie, I don't uh, know how to tell you this, but uh, they arranged the funeral for your Aunt Sarah today. God damn it. God damn it. It's my fault. It's my fault they killed her. It was that prick Bragg. After he shot you, your Aunt Sarah, he... Uh, uh, Jackie, uh, I'm so sorry. Jesus. It's all gone to shit. Your boys beat the Brotherhood back. Chase them out of here. But you know that wasn't the last of them, right? We can't let the Brotherhood take the darkness, Jackie. That's not gonna happen. The darkness. The darkness has Jenny's soul. And it wants these Brotherhood jackoffs dead and the siphon for itself. If I don't play ball, it says it'll keep her forever. Jackie, that siphon in the darkness's hands, it's not good. It's too powerful. With the siphon, it could overwhelm you. Take control completely. I don't have a choice. I won't let it hurt Jenny. Jackie, let's uh, let's take a step back here, okay? Let's let's think about this. So, what if? Uh, what if she isn't even real? Mm? The darkness plays tricks on you, huh? It makes you see things. No, it's her. I know it. I feel it. So, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go to my aunt Sarah's funeral. Then I'm gonna go kill a lot of people. Be careful, Jackie. The Brotherhood will stop at nothing to get the darkness. Nothing. Think. Think, think, think. God damn it, I can't think straight. 5,000 years of this shit. You think these fuckers don't know how to be patient? Probably looking at us right now. Right now! When do I get some juice? Just a taste. I can stop. I just gotta get started, that's all. You go about your day. I'll find out what I can. Hey, good to see you back on your feet, boss. Someone's gonna pay out their ass for this, Jackie. You just point the way. The one time Nigel finally takes me out, they destroy the place. Be well. Jackie, you don't want to go up there, kid. Nothing you need to see. Ah, oh, fuck, Jimmy. This is all my fault. Occupational hazard, son. I'm just... I'm just so sorry about your aunt. She was one tough broad, you know. Funeral is today. We should get down there soon. Yeah. Let's go. Boss, we're ready to head to the cemetery. Just say the word and we're gone. Time to go say goodbye to Aunt Sarah, Vinny. You go ahead. I'll make sure the boys are ready for you when you get there. When I was 18, running numbers for my cocksucking Uncle Paulie, I used to kill time at Rocco's. Real shithole of a bar. But the waitress? Biggest tits you ever seen. I'm pissed drunk this one time, and I hear someone call my name. Next thing I know, five goons are stomping my head in. Fucking assholes put me in the hospital for a week. Two people sat with me the whole time. Jenny and my Aunt Sarah. My last day there, when I'm finally healed up, Aunt Sarah leans in, slips me a piece of paper. It's got the names and addresses of the assholes who put me in there. One look and I got the lesson. I wasn't gonna make the same mistake those fuckers did.
Jackie. None of this is real. Here you go, Jackie. Come on, Jackie. Let's you and me head up. The church put on a beautiful service. Yeah, they did it right, didn't they, Vinny? You bet. Top shelf all the way. Classy. A little long, but you know us Catholics like to talk. You know, boss, we're, we're all thrilled that you, uh, you know, you got your thing back, but, uh, you know, some of the boys are thinking maybe this hit has something to do with that, and, you know, well, no disrespect, but... Just spit it out, Vin. You know that ain't no one's gonna back you up more than me, Jackie. Just give the boys something to go on, okay? Well, not for nothing. You spent four days in the back room with that crazy prick Johnny when by rights you should have been dead. We just want to know what we're up against here, you know? Let's go up. People are gonna be glad to see you back in one piece, boss. I tell you, it wouldn't have been the same seeing your Aunt Sarah off without the old Jackie Estacado. I'm sorry for your loss, Jackie. Vince, I'm a crazy fucking Lord of the Rings and swat you. My condolences, boss. Someone's gonna pay for this, Jackie. I know this is a tough pill to swallow, Jackie. But she's home now, right? Buried here with the rest of your family. It's a shame Jenny wasn't buried here too, you know. She was family to you. I'm sorry she's gone. She's always with me. Jackie, I know what a terrible burden you carry, but carrying that burden is what made you strong. What'll get you through this? I want you to know I think you're... That's one tough old lady, Jackie. How many times do I have to shoot her before she surrenders? Well, look at you. Let's make some pounds. You're all clean, motherfucker! It can't... That way! Hiding, huh? Hiding from weakness like you? <laughs> He's at Hellgate. Oh, oh that that Hellgate, good. don't you, Jackie? So many fun memories there, huh? <laughs> Come pay us a visit. <laughs> We're waiting for you. Hellgate, huh? Thanks for the help, <gasps> asshole. <laughs> First time you kill a man, you come to a crossroads. You learn something about yourself. 
You don't learn what you're capable of or how bad a person you are or any of that bullshit. You learn you can sleep at night after, or you learn you can't. You're either haunted, or you're not. I was 16 years old the first time I killed a man. And I slept like a baby every night since. Everything okay, boss? Oh, I had it with these guys, Jackie. We gotta put an end to this. That's the plan, Vin. Let me know what you need me to do. Sit tight. I'm gonna check in with Johnny. Anything you say, boss. And when you're ready to put these fucks down, you say the word. Jackie. You look after yourself, you Jackie. Medicine. It ain't poison just because they say it is. You look at the 450. Jackie. I heard what happened. Jesus Christ. I think I'm losing my fucking mind. I keep... I keep seeing that loony bin. And it's getting worse. I mean... It's like I'm losing time or something. Jackie, listen to me. This is what the darkness does. It confuses you. So I, I, I'm thinking maybe it would be a nice time to go visit Hawaii or Fiji. Someplace nice, warm, and way the fuck away from these guys. No. They're holed up at the old boardwalk in Astoria. A place called Hellgate Field. Me and Jenny used to go there when we were kids. That's where I'm headed. Jackie, you gotta think carefully. Hmm? This could be a trick. The, the whole thing, mm, it smells like a trap. That's cause it is a trap, dummy, but I don't have a choice. I can't let it keep hurting Jenny. Don't let them take the darkness, Jackie. You do that. We are all fucked. What about the siphon? You can't let the darkness have it. You do that. We are all, once again, fucked. Not even the Angelus could stop the darkness then. Great. So I'm fucked either way. Listen, Johnny. Thanks for everything. Anytime, Jackie. Just, you know, never, ever, ever again. Okay? When we were just talking, you said not even the Angelus could stop it. What does that mean? What's the Angelus? The Angelus? You mean you don't know? Jackie, the Angelus is the complete and total opposite of the darkness. It's a creature of pure light. The Angelus and the darkness have been fighting since we... Since we... Well, I don't know, but a real long time, man. Nobody's seen it for a while. And you, of all people, should thank your lucky stars for that. You said this Angelus thing made the siphon? That's the rumor. Creature of pure light, weapon of pure light. Kinda makes sense, huh? Mm -hmm. So the siphon... Could it kill me? Sure. If they killed it with the siphon, no way the darkness is gonna be able to repair that damage. You go straight to hell. No pass and go, no collecting your 200 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Tell me more about this Angelus thing. You mean besides the fact that it wants to kill you? A little more than that would be helpful. All right, here goes. Everything the darkness is, the Angelus isn't. The darkness is, well, dark. The Angelus is light. Darkness wants chaos. Angelus wants order. Darkness needs a male host. Angelus needs a female. Guess that kind of explains why they've been fighting for, well, forever, I guess. Female? Yeah, you know, boobs. Pocketbook, shoes, female. I gotta draw you a picture? You saying one day this broad's gonna show up wanting to kill me? Yep, mm hmm, yep, yeah, mm hmm, yep, yeah, yep. Makes you feel any better. You're not the first guy to be in this situation. And you definitely won't be the last. Terrific. Thanks again, Johnny. No problemo. Hey, if you die, can I have all your books? What? Is it uh, too soon? Oh, fuck. Did this all go shit-shaped in a hurry? Not good, boss. This is a bad deal, Jackie. A very bad deal. I've been talking to Vinny. Maybe we should lay low for a while. Let things settle down. That's smart thinking. And all of you should do that. But I'm ending this. Tonight. What the hell's that supposed to mean? It means I'm going by the old boardwalk up in Astoria. I have something there I need. What's this all about, boss? Just say the word. Me and the boys are ready to bust some fucking balls. These pricks got the nerve to come in here? No, Vinny. 
I put you guys at risk because of my thing. I'm not doing that again. I gotta do this on my own, all right? Jackie, come on, I can't... That's an order. Hear me? You got some balls, kid. Fellas, if I don't come back... None of that, Jackie. I'll see you when you get back. Got it? When we was kids, Jenny and I were broke. But she always found a way to have a good time. One time for my birthday, she snuck us into a roller rink. Some kid was having a party and it was so big, they didn't notice a little girl helping herself to some cake and some presents. All for me. Best birthday I ever had. She snuck us into movie theaters, kind of way into bars, whatever. And whenever we got busted, she was just as good at getting us out as she was getting us in. She could con her way out of anything. But I should have known. Luck like that can't last forever. That asshole better have been telling the truth. Jenny? Jenny, wait! Come on, I want to show you something. This isn't real. You're not real. Hey, Rapids. I know how we can get inside without paying. But I want it to be real. It deceives you. Hey, we should sneak into the freak show. I promise you won't get scared. <laughs> you have a good time, don't you, Jenny? I'm coming for you, baby. Just hold on. Hello, monkey! Right on time. Come on. Let's go even up the score. <laughs> Ready for action! <laughs> oh, meant to fly! Oh, fuck no! Not again! This place has really gone to shit. Darklings ain't meant to fly! We're almost there. Enjoy this inche. Oh my god, you should see this place. So, are you gonna win me a prize, Ratface? <laughs> I just love that big blue bear. It's so grumpy. It reminds me of you. Jackie, are you okay? What's wrong? Come on, kid, I ain't got all day. You in or what? Can you win me that big blue one? Pretty please? Win me a prize, and I'll tell you a secret. But don't get any ideas. Holy crap! One lucky winner. Here you go, kid. Hey, that's not fair. I wanted the big blue one. Hey, you want a big prize, you gotta keep winning, toots. Step right up! Step right up! Everyone a winner! Win more to win bigger Jenny, prizes! Jenny, I gotta go. Jenny, I... What's the matter, Jackie? You look a little distracted. Time to... The host is here! Big blue one right here. Big prizes! Big prizes! Play big to win big! Here you go! Jenny, I, I can't do this right now. I promise I'll tell you that secret. Here you go, kid! How could you refuse an offer like that from such a pretty girl? Win here and trade up to the big prize! What the hell am I doing? Good luck, kid! 
play big to win big. We're rooting for you. Bullseye. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? Bullseye. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? You did it! Oh my god! I can't believe it! You are so awesome! Big winner! Big winner! Way to go, kid! Step right up to claim the big prize! Hey, Ratface. Remember that secret I was gonna tell you? I love you, Jackie Estacado. senses. You think I don't know the darkness is changing you, manipulating everything you do? It's going to control you, just like it always does with the weak ones. Makes you see things, doesn't it? You can make this hard or easy, pal. Just give me the siphon. <laughs> Jackie, you really are delusional, aren't you? <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be so scary. Promise you'll protect me. Jenny? What is this? Come on, don't tell me you're still afraid of the dark. for protecting me. However, can I thank you? Jenny? Jenny? Comfortable? 
This ancient relic can hold you for as long as it takes to drain the darkness from you. And then we'll burn what's left of you alive. I tried to help you, but now we do this the hard way. Ah! Mr. Peevish, prepare the thorn bed for transport to the mansion. First time I ever got busted. They stuck me in a place like this. Not the cops. Those bleeding hearts let me off with a warning. But those pricks at the orphanage. Different story. They sent me straight to the box. 24 hours. Locked away. In the fucking basement. You ain't ever seen darkness that black. Something like that's too much for a kid. Might have even broke me. If it hadn't been for her. About once an hour, Jenny would find a way to sneak down there and whisper through the door, Don't worry, Jackie, I'm right here. But that was a long time ago. Jenny's not waiting outside the door. And I ain't afraid of the dark. The Brotherhood thinks they can trap me in here. But they have no idea who they're fucking with. I am the fucking dark. And I bring the darkness with- Edward. What's wrong? Oh, shit. He cut himself. No, it's okay. I think he scraped up against the tools. Looks like a frickin' Iron Maiden in there. There you go, big guy. Everything's okay now. You know you ain't supposed to be in there. Jesus, Jackie. Dr. Vic would have my ass in a sling if he knew you'd gotten in there with all those tools. You could have been hurt. God damn it! I gotta get out of here. If they take the darkness, I'll lose Jenny! There is no darkness, Jackie. And Jenny's okay. She's right here. No one's got her. Look, you're not in any trouble, but you've got to stay out of here, okay? Go on. Now, get out of here before someone sees you. I've talked with him about it. He thinks he's the head of the Mafia. Last year, he was a spy working for the British Secret Service. We have to be patient, Jenny. Look, no one wants to see Jackie respond more than I do. Give them Jenny. time to work. Oh, no, no, no. He's not ready to see me again. Jenny, wait! Ah, uh, pretty boy. Jenny doesn't want to see you right now. Heard you got a little too touchy-feely last time. Can't say I blame you. <laughs> Out of my way. Yeah. Try that again, nutbag. You're gonna regret this. Jenny, I know you can hear me! I can do this dance all day long. Swifty, you know where I can find a knife, a screwdriver, something sharp? I, I can't find my teeth. Can you help me find my teeth? Damn it! It's you again! Dolfo! If anybody here can help me, it's you. I need some kind of weapon, no matter what it is. What? Yes, yes, I have panzer divisions, Messerschmitts, battleships. No, Dalfo, I need something right here, right now. Like a knife, or a stick. Hmm, we must start the planning at once. Get into the janitor's closet. You will find what you need in there. Advance in pincer formation until you get to Paris. And don't speak to the Bolsheviks! When you are done, I will help you again. For the Fatherland! Czechoslovakia as a nation has ceased to exist! Hey, calm down, or you're going back to your room. Stalinist. Adolf, I swear, if you say one more word... You don't want to do that, monkey. What? Here you go. Come on. We ain't got much time. Wait a second. Don't I know you? Now, don't be afraid, Jackie. I'm not afraid. I'm pissed off. About fucking time, eh? Close the door. Now, turn around. Hello, monkey!
You're in and out, mate. Barely alive. And not quite dead. What? Come on, Jackie. We ain't got much time. The darkness can't hear us because it's weak. Wait. I don't understand. You're not supposed to. That's how the darkness does it, see? You're dead, but it can't let you go to hell. That asylum was built for you. Might you think you're bonkers. But it's just a filter, isn't it? Filter? Filter for what? The asylum is all just make-believe. The darkness made it to keep you from hell. Keep you occupied while it puts your twigging berries back together. Keep you away from Jenny. Here we are. What? Why? All I know is it wants to keep you two apart. I think it's afraid. Tell me how to get to her. No! I've risked too much, monkey. Said too much already. You see, I can't die in the real world, but in the asylum, the darkness can kill me. Brown red, game over. No coming back for me. I need to get to her. There's no time, monkey. You can't let them take the darkness. If you lose the darkness, you lose Jenny. Now, see that? The way home, Dorothy. Go on then. Close your eyes and open my noodle again. Let's go for a spin. The pain must be unbearable, Jackie. If you had only accepted my offer, all of the suffering could have been avoided. I'm so thirsty for it. Who needs it? In good time, Mr. Greenfish. Patience. Help me. They're taking it. Hurry! Hang on, it won't be more than a tick. Where is Brother Victor? He's down in the basement, finishing off that pathetic host. Right. Guess we're headed for the basement, then. Uh, hurry. I... I can feel the darkness leaving my body. On it! You fall off a horse, you gotta get back on it. Ah, here you are! Why they got you hanging from way up there? Little dramatic, isn't it? It's almost gone. Right, hold on, Jackie. Almost there. That's the beauty of it all. of our labor. Burn him so the darkness cannot return to its host. Make it hurt. Make it last. It's time for you to burn, host. Shit! Where are you? On my way! Just hold on! Like all empty shells, you shall be dis- I'm Jenny, 
Gotta get... Fuck me! You look like a cactus! Victor has the darkness in the siphon. We have to get it back. Or we could just go to Vegas and fuck off! We're free, monkey! No. As long as the darkness is trapped in there, then Jenny's trapped too. I got no choice. I have to get the darkness back. Well, freedom was fun while it lasted. Why does this place look familiar? What the hell? This... This is my father's office. What are these assholes doing in my old house? Yeah. You're back home, mate. Could use some dust in there, what we saying. This was Pop's old gun. He was a collector. Yeah. He collected guns. And darkness relics. He was a darkness expert, that one was. Yeah. For all the good it did him. He was trying to help you, monkey. Yes! That's it! Give it to me! I need it! Break it! You may use his corpse as you please. Hello, pretty boy. Go and play, my pets. Now you will see. Now you will be revealed as the fucking creature you are. So, Jesus, do you ever shut up? I can feel it fading. The Bucktooth Hobo still got the darkness trapped inside the siphon. What you got there is darkness powers, all right, but you don't got no darkness inside you to power them. Welcome home, Jackie. You know your father was obsessed with the darkness? Built this home on sacred ground. Filled it with darkness relics. He meddled with things he didn't understand. His pathetic attempt to control what he could not. What the hell are you talking about? He never told you, did he? No. It drove him insane before you were old enough to understand. He reached out to us many years ago. He'd heard of the siphon and was desperate to find it. Your father wanted a cure for the darkness. He wanted a cure for his little boy. Isn't that sweet? Bullshit! He promised us the darkness if we found the siphon, Jackie. It took us almost two decades, but we found the siphon. Now we're here to collect his debt to us. Now we have the darkness, and this world will burn and kneel before its true god! <laughs> Keep clinging to what little dark essence is left inside you. I can sense it leaving you as I speak. Even if you survive this, I just have to wait until your batteries run out. Please take care of our little friend here. When he is broken, bring him to me. Isn't only designed to contain the darkness, it can also destroy the host. 
truly destroyed the host. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna rip you apart and take it. And what then? What would you do with it? You're not thinking about giving it to the darkness, are you? Do you have any idea what would happen? You know, I could tell you, but it'd be easier just to show you. Arise, my brother! Give it to the darkness! Please! It will destroy us all! Yes! Take the siphon! Give me its power! You are nothing! You are unworthy! The siphon will consume you! Torture you! Send you straight to hell! That's the plan. So, this is the one thing that can kill me. Here goes nothing. You were never in control. I'm coming for Jenny. And I'm coming for you. Jackie was sleeping. It hurts so much. Hey, Jackie, wake up. He don't look so good. Jeez, maybe it was something he ate. Hey, Jackie, you eat something bad? I ate a clown one time. He tasted funny. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! This isn't right! The siphon killed me! I should be in hell! <coughs> Jackie, Jackie, you okay? Uh, Holy shit! Dr. James! Fuck you! You're not real! None of this is real! It's just a fucking distraction! Something to keep me from the darkness! I need to get out of here! Dr. James, it's Jackie! Quick! I need to get to hell! Come on, Jackie. It's gonna be okay. Dr. James! Everything's okay, Jackie. No one's going to hurt you. Hold him, please, Edward. Sure thing, Dr. James. You're not real! None of this is real! It's all just one of its tricks, but I'm not buying it. You got that? Tell your boss that I'm not buying any of this! There's no conspiracy, Jackie. You're in a hospital. You're not well. And we just want to help you. Where? Is Jenny. Go tell Jenny she's going to have a visitor. I'm on it. Hold him down. Jackie, this is for your own good. <sighs> there. It's all right now. You've had a bad dream. And we're going to make you feel better. You want to see Jenny? We'll bring you to her office. I think she'll calm you down. Come on, Jackie. It's going to be okay. What's wrong? I is he dying? We have ways of making him talk. Take him away and have him executed. Is everything okay here? What happened? No. No fucking way. I just killed you! Doctor... I'm afraid Jackie is experiencing the severe withdrawal from his medication. He says the darkness is back talking to him again. He thinks he may be in hell. You're not a doctor. You're the head of the Brotherhood. And you're dead. It's okay, Jackie. You've had an episode. The voice you think you hear is just your brain playing tricks on you. Bullshit. I just watched you die. Jackie, listen to me. It's important. Do you hear the darkness now? No. It went quiet. Good. I think the sedative's having an effect, okay? Let's take Jackie to see Jenny, please.
Johnny, you gotta help me. Jackie, none of this is real. I know that. This way, monkey! The only way out is up! Jackie, get back here! Hey, Jackie! Stop him! Don't let him get out! Damn it, Wait! Jackie. No! Don't go up there, please! You'll just get- I had a good run. Knew the risks. <coughs> Made my choice. Oh, I'm gone for good this time. Good luck, Nanki. Uh, try not to fuck it up, eh? Damn it, Jackie! <sighs> okay, Jackie. Let's just stay calm. Dr. Vic is trying to help you. Jackie? Jackie, oh God, please come away from there. You're going to get hurt. You, you're not Jenny. Jackie, this isn't a game. If you die here, you are really dead. It's over. No, you're wrong. I die here, I go to hell. Jackie, you're trapped in a delusional cycle and we're trying to help you break free of it. Jackie, please don't do this. I want to help you. You're just some kind of trick of the darkness. You're not the real Jenny. Jackie, listen to me. There is no darkness. You don't have special powers. If you jump, it's over. You die. Heaven or hell, you're gone. I don't want to lose you. We want you to get well again. You've got to take your medicine. Don't you want to stay with me? I want to be with Jenny. No! Hold on, baby. I'm coming. Jackie, you found your way here. Jenny? Is that really you? You are of no consequence! We'll see about that. Baby, I'm coming. You must not! The kill consumes you! She will never leave.
She's worth it. Jackie, you did it. I didn't mean for this to happen. Any of this. Shh. We don't have much time. I love you, Jackie Estacado. No matter what happens, I always will. I'm so sorry. Sorry? Jenny, I'm the one who should be s Jenny? wasn't the only thing trapped here. It was you who gave her to me. I won't fight you. What makes you think I'm even going to give you the chance? You have become too powerful a host. Cost too much suffering. You and it are now where you belong. No. No. 